Good day grade 12s, welcome to your second lesson on analytical geometry in week 19. In this lesson we're going to be talking about tangents to circles. Now as you already know, a tangent to a circle is a line that just touches a circle. So you can think of it as that it only crosses the circle once, okay, it just touches it. Remember, tangents are always perpendicular to the radius. So what does that mean? That means that the gradient of the radius, if this was MR, and this is m of the tangent, then we would know that the m of the radius times by the m of the tangent is equal to negative 1. Remember you learned that last year. Okay, so let's do an example. Right, so let's look at this question. It says determine the equation of the tangent that passes through the circle defined by x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 4y equals 5 at the point minus 2 minus 1. So you can see from this equation that this isn't the normal circle equation. What we can do though is we can complete the square and get it into the normal form of a circle equation. So let's go through that. We've got x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 4y is equal to 5. Now I don't know if you remember how to complete the square, so let's do it very slowly. We write down x squared minus 2x and what do we do? To complete this square we add and what do we do? We half this and we square it. So it becomes 2 divided by 2 all squared plus and we do exactly the same thing y squared plus 4y and then what do we do to this coefficient? We halve it and we square it. So it becomes plus 4 over 2 all squared, but what you do to the one side you have to do to the other side, otherwise this equals is not really an equals anymore. And then what did we do? We added 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 squared is 1, so we added 1 and over here we've got 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 squared is 4 and we added a 4. And now we can make this look nice, remember how we do this? We bring down the x we bring down whatever this sign is here, it's a minus, we bring down this number which is a 1, all squared, plus, now if we write this, we've got a y, plus, bringing down that sign, and then this number here is 2, all squared, is equal to 10. So therefore our circle has got a center, A circle center is at 1 minus 2, our radius is root 10. So let's just draw a little rough circle here. I don't want to waste my space here because I need this for calculation. So the center is at 1 minus 2, so x is 1 minus 2, so it's about there. And it's going through a point at minus 2, minus 2, minus 1. So that's a point on its circumference. So if we say, okay fine, that's about the radius, and that's about a radius over there, that's about a radius over there. So we can draw a circle. I told you I'm terrible at circles. And then there is a tangent touching at that point, right? So now we kind of know what we're looking at. This point here is minus 2 minus 1. This point here is 1 minus 2. And we want to know the equation of this tangent. We want to know the equation of this tangent. So do you agree this equation of a tangent is a straight line equation? So let's just change color because now we're going to do the equation of the tangent. And let's change it to red. So now the equation is y is equal to mx plus c where m is your gradient and c is your y intercept. So I can get the gradient of this line there, the radius, right? But because this is a tangent, that's perpendicular. And I know that that means that the gradient of the tangent times the gradient of the radius has to equal minus 1. So let's first find the gradient of this radius. So let's go the gradient of it, which is m of the radius to tangent, is going to be, what is it? It is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I don't know why I put brackets. So that there, let's choose that this is going to be point 0.1 and that's going to be point 0.2. You can do them in any order, you know this. So therefore this is going to be minus 1 minus
minus minus 2 that's your y's minus 1 minus minus 2 over your x's which is minus 2 minus 1 so therefore this becomes minus 1 plus 2 over minus 3 minus 2 plus 1 is 1 over negative 3 which makes sense because that is a negative gradient so that is the gradient of the this bit here now we want the gradient of the tangent the gradient of the tangent but what do we know we know that if we multiply the gradient of the radius times for the gradient of the tangent it has to equal minus 1 so therefore we can say m of the tangent times by negative a third equals negative 1 therefore the gradient of the tangent has to be equal to 3 aha so now we've got our gradient it is 3 so we've got an equation so far that says y is equal to 3x plus c but we also have this point so we can substitute this point which is that point there in case you can't see it up there is minus 2 minus 1 we can substitute it into this equation we can get a value for c so let's do that we've got minus 1 is equal to 3 times minus 2 plus c so that's minus 1 is equal to minus 6 plus c so c is going to be 5 because you take it across it becomes plus 6 therefore the equation for this tangent is y is equal to 3x plus 5 so that grade 12 is how you use your equation of your tangent so please go practice 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 and then do some questions and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.